Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video where I would like to sh to tell you and show you how you can convert CSV files into Excel files. And like a lot of other things, this can be done in a lot of different ways. And today I want to show you two methods of how you can solve this problem. And the first example, the first method that I want to show you will be applied on the data set in front of you. So what you see here is an open CSV file. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's open in Excel. So what we have a lot of here is a lot of messy data arranged in the A column and just spreading all over all over the sheet. So what we have here in the A1 is all the column headers which are separated by columns. So what we would like to do is to give season its own, its own column. We want to give episode number its own column and so on and so on. And we can do this by marking the data and entering the data ribbon. Up here, we have a tool called text to columns and we can use this tool to split the data in nice columns so that we can analyze the data uh, in the way we want to. So I'll just press it and we know that this data is delimited and it is delimited by commas. So I'll just press next and here we can choose our delimiter. And in the bottom here, we can see the preview. So if the delimiter is tab, my data will just come out messy again. But if I press the comma, we'll see that Excel arranges it in a lot of nice columns. So this is perfectly fine for my needs. I'll just press next. Here I have the opportunity to update the column data formats if there is any columns that I want to update the data format for. But in my case, there aren't anything that I want to update. So I'll just finish the operation. And here we have it. Here we have all my data arranged in the columns like I wanted to. Okay, so the other method, the other example that I want to show you is if you have a CSV file stored somewhere else on your computer or somewhere else um, and want to import it into your um, your Excel sheet, you can do that by using Power Query and again entering the data ribbon and um, using this tool from Textless CSV. Whenever I press that, I I'll have to find my CSV file. It is here at desktop in the YouTube uh, folder. And here I have my Game of Thrones data set, that exact same data set that I, I just uh, used in the other example and just placed somewhere else on the computer. And I would like to import that. And as I press this, Excel already knows that it is a CSV file and um, chooses the comma as the default delimiter. So here we have it. All the data is arranged perfectly fine. I'll just load it into the Excel sheet. And here we have it arranged in, in a table um, and ready to be analyzed. Um, so what we've done here is we've created a connection between this open Excel sheet and the other CSV files st stored somewhere. Um, and here we have the connection. So if the CSV file is updated with additional data, we can just refresh this and the data is automatically loaded into this table. We can also um, update it by refreshing the table. It doesn't really matter. So that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and that I answered your questions. Um, if you uh, if you like the content, I would be really happy if you like the video and also subscribe to my channel so that you can follow along when I post future content regarding Excel and pivot tables, Power Query, Power BI, Power Automate and all those kind of things. So have a really nice day and thank you for today.